So I kind of got to thinking, that ARC A380, we haven't tested it with a Xeon. Um, I did sort of test it with the 7700, but I, I found that the Xeon actually did a little bit better. So I've got a, uh, an E3 1270V3, I think it is, in here, behind the fan. Yeah, and you guys might remember this build. Um, it was the one that was orange, we called the traffic cone. And so I brought it up in the BIOS, I'm just checking things out real quick. Uh, everything came up, the card itself came up, which uh, was a little bit surprising. I didn't have to change anything in the BIOS. I didn't have to try to put another CPU in to, and put any drivers or anything like that. It just came right up. So now we're gonna go into Windows. We're gonna see what happens and whether I can just go ahead and see if this is gonna be an easy transition or not. I've got my fingers crossed. It's an Intel CPU, it's an Intel GPU, maybe, maybe. Now, I'm not naive enough to think I'm going to get spectacular results out of this. In fact, I I'm know going into this that this is probably not going to work out too well because the BIOS settings, although they are not constrained to the Dell I was working with before, the BIOS settings are still, uh, the architecture is too old for me to be able to use a uh, resizable bar or some of the features that are on modern day uh, motherboards and CPUs. It's just not available. We're using a Xeon processor that was around between fourth and fifth gen Intel. It's just uh, stuff like that was not available. There's a lot of things that are not going to do this video card any favors. This, this video card is definitely more designed for modern builds than it is for an older type build. Uh, and, and we'll kind of, the, the results kind of bear this out a little bit, but they are a little bit surprising in some ways. Now, uh, we're looking at a couple of games and I only did a few because I when I started to see this, it's like, oh wow, here's our pattern. And it was pretty easy to see. Uh, with this, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, we're going to look at first. And we noticed that the ARC A380 uh, had very low, uh, not, they're playable, but they're low settings compared to even the 6400, the RX 6400, or an older RX 480 or 580. Uh, in this case, I did it with an RX 480, but your results from an RX, what, the, one of the newer RX 580s, you know, 2048s or something, are going to be very, very similar. That, that RX 570 and the RX 480 are, are very similar. Similar time frame, not much of an upgrade there, but it beats the pants off of either one of these two video cards. Part of that is it's an 8 gig card as opposed to the RX 6400's 4 gig, as opposed to the ARC having, you know, not being ready for an older architecture. So we, we see a pretty defined difference here. I, I wasn't quite expecting the RX 6400, and I did test this in DX12 because DX12 is now faster than DX11. Uh, we also know that the ARC cards for a while struggle, struggled with DX11. That wasn't the case here. I didn't really have that much of an issue, but it was outpaced by both the RX 6400 and the RX 480. Uh, surprising enough, the RX 6400 kept up in low settings with the RX 480, even though the memory on the GPU was different. Uh, so I was a little bit surprised here th to see the RX 6400 keep up with the 480. Um, was not expecting that. I was expecting the ARC 380 to struggle with the other two, but I wasn't expecting to see um, this this kind of design. And then Cyberpunk 2077. Now, we had a couple of issues trying to test Cyberpunk, and it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows when we did it. Yes, we got it to work, which was better than trying to test on some of the older stuff. And I believe even the when I was testing the Dell with the 7700 in it, uh, I don't even think I could get it to work that way. Um, there was just something that wasn't allowing the game to actually even start. I could get to the splash screen, it would just quit and say, yo bro, there's a problem. Uh, so um, that was a little bit, um, I didn't think I was gonna get results here. And I did, using that H85, I believe it was an H85 motherboard. Um, yeah, I, I was able to get Cyberpunk to at least start. I did get some okay results, not great, but okay. I did see some little glitches, but there were, the results between the video cards were, were just as weird as some of the other things that I saw when, it, when the testing was going on. Um, we'll, we'll discuss the test results here first because it falls into or helps us define one of three patterns that I think we'll see with testing these. Um, the 6400 
failed miserably in this. And I think that has a lot to do with the amount of memory that's on the video card itself. Uh, it's only got four gig of, of v VRAM, and that shows here because it just completely gets outpaced by the RX 6400 and even gets outpaced very, very much so by the A380. Uh, I was not expecting that. I, I wasn't expecting the RX 6400 just to fall completely flat on its face. I figured those two would be reversed, the A380 and the RX 6400. It does make sense that the A380 has six gig of memory. I wasn't expecting it to do as well as it did. Um, it's still a little bit surprising there. Uh, I did expect the RX 60, uh, the RX 480 to do better, but I wasn't expecting a graph to look like this. Uh, the problems I had, the issues, the fun stuff, the little, you know, if I'm a, looking for a squirrel off on the side here. Um, when I was testing this, trying to get results with the A380, one of the things I ran into was a lot of art artifacting trying to go in between high and medium. Now, I thought, okay, great, we're not going to be able to test this either, just like we weren't be able to test on the other card um, or in the other system, but at least we got it to start. We got some kind of results, and at that point, I had already tested on high. I believe I had actually tested on ultra and on high, but I only keep up with high, medium, and low on these charts. Um, but going from medium, uh, high to medium, I, I got a lot of artifacting, and it was really kind of strange because somehow, some way, when I was swapping those, it was getting caught up in the upscaling between XESS and the quality settings. Uh, those quality settings were trying to use AMD quality settings while it was trying to use the XESS upscaler. Don't know how it got switched around, but I did try to switch both of these where it was both AMD or both Intel. Um, and it, I think during the clip, I think they were both Intel. But um, yeah, it was a little bit confusing because even when I try to swap to one or the other, in the menu screen, it was messed up. In the benchmark itself, it was messed up. It was just all kinds of artifacting and weird stuff. I had to completely go back out, go back into the testing, and it didn't happen again. Um, in fact, it, at one point, I was trying to switch, and it wouldn't let me take AMD and Intel or mix those two together. So it was just a weird thing where they got somehow they got discombobulated. Or they, somehow they got mismatched. But it did, um, if you're ever wondering, what happens in a case like that? Yeah, it, it, it doesn't know what to do. Uh, it's sort of like HAL 9000. It just doesn't know what instructions it's supposed to follow. And so it kind of, it craps all over itself. And it was, yeah, it was a mess. I, I thought it was going to be a complete fail. and ended up just being a glitch in the settings. Able to get it straightened out. Could not repeat that process. So I was able to get successful testing and repeat that successful testing. So I felt pretty good about giving the results here. Now, patterns in here. I, we, we've, we're seeing a couple of different types of patterns with these cards. The RX 6400 only has 4 gig of memory on it. The A380 needs newer modern mar architecture to be able to take advantage of resizable bar and stuff like that. But it does have 6, so it's got a little bit more memory. And the RX 480, and I'm sure like the GTX 1660 and some of those older cards, they will just, they will pound it in by brute force using either six or eight gig of memory they got no hesitation to use the entire 16 wide bus that this is built on all that stuff whereas these other cards are trying to get fancy and use a faster but only four lanes or uh maybe only eight lanes or something the older cars just like went right after it was whole all 16 lanes you get everything it's like a drinking out of a fire hose but we're starting to see a few little patterns here that did make some sense the typical pattern where the A380, because it's trying to test older hardware when it needs modern hardware, is going to fail miserably, even against something that, say, has lower memory on it. And then, of course, something with higher memory is going to do better. So you've got something that, that new that doesn't work right is going to fail miserably against the other two. You've got the case where the VRAM does make a difference. Say the game is okay, like in the case of Cyberpunk here, we see that the RX 6400 failed horribly because it didn't have enough memory to keep up with the other two cards. And then we're going to see something where we know that that A380 is, is bad, but the other cards might be able to keep up with themselves fairly well. So we got a couple of instances where the A380 is the worst out of the lot, but some different patterns to look at as we're looking at it doing this. So uh, with the modern system, I already, I already do know that it does fairly well with modern processors. 
uh, and I believe I've got a couple of videos on that of, of even Ryzen processors and Intel processors. We do know that matched up against the A750, which is back there over my shoulder, um, we do know that the encoding works great. It keeps up with encoding very, very well. And, and the price is not too bad either. So if you're looking for something that's budget-minded on a modern build, this might be in your sweet spot. If you're looking at thinking you're going to get older Dells or older computers and kind of refurb them and use something like this because it's only 120 bucks, uh, just bite your tongue and keep going because this isn't going to work. Uh, you're better off, honestly better off, trying to buy, uh, even though it's they're used cards and they're older now, you're better off trying to get, get a hold of a GTX 1660 RX 480 or 580, uh, some of those, and you're going to pay 100 bucks, maybe less than 100 bucks for those, as opposed to paying for a brand new card. Then in some cases, going to cost you 120, 130, 150 bucks that are not going to perform as well. You're just going to have to make sure that the power supply is going to be enough uh, to handle a card that's going to pull between 100 and 130 watts. That's all. Yeah, because the ARC 380, A380 and the 6400 both do not have external power supply needs. They can both run off the current PCIe rail, which is about, the supply is about 75 watts. Neither one of those cards pull that much, but you have that available to you. Whereas uh, a newer card, I mean, uh, whereas some of the older cards that use brute force are going to need some of that power requirement. So, yeah, I just thought I'd take a look and see what the deal was with this RK380, see if it was going to do any well at all, if it was survivable, if I could recommend it or anything. The main reason is I'm going to, I think this is the computer I'm going to end up taking to my sister's house. I wanted something to stick in there that, quite honestly, maybe I wasn't going to miss being here to test with. And I've done about all the testing that I wanted to do with that card for right now. So I thought that might be an option. That's not an option. <laughs> and I invite you to not use that option either. Old hardware, not going to work. Newer hardware does okay, especially if you're doing streaming or encoding. It does really well with the AV1. So there. Um, my suggestion, if you're using an older box, if you're upgrading anything, second, third, fourth generation Intel, any of the early Ryzen's, anything like that, um, yeah, just stick with a time-appropriate video card. The RX 480s, you know, 400 series, 500 series, the, the 10 series, 16 series from... Uh, it, uh, from uh, NVIDIA, those are great cards. And uh, you might even be able to find something like a 1050 that doesn't need power that might do your, you know, might be fine. Or a 1650. Yeah. Those would probably do you much, much better than this in this case. So if you got anything out of the video, um, I hope this was at least some kind of informative or entertaining or just, hey, look, I already knew that. Uh, that's okay. You know, if you've got anything out of the video at all, go ahead and throw a like on it. I sure would appreciate that. Uh, I am going to start splitting up some of these videos. Uh, some of the stuff that uh, does not mean a whole lot to, say, PCs or rebuilding or upgrading or anything like that, I will leave on this channel. Anything that has to do with gaming or streaming or, re you know, reviews on mics or, you know, the Elgato Stream Deck or anything like that, those are going to go on that Paul Guy Gaming just to kind of split things up because those videos typically do not do well at all on this channel. So we'll give them their own home. And we'll just concentrate on PC stuff here, building stuff, repairing stuff. Um, yeah, and we'll do it that way. So uh, don't forget, you know, if you're interested in the other stuff, go ahead, subscribe to both. That would be amazing. I, I would like to try to build both channels and give both audiences what they need. The other socials are also open. Don't forget to hit me up on X or Discord or whatever. But if you don't do any of that stuff, just do me one favor. And let's be good to each other. We all need somebody to be kind once in a while, you know? It doesn't hurt. Smile, wave, hold the door open. Uh, you, you never know when that small gesture that you make could be the difference in somebody's entire day. And just think, if somebody did that and you're having a bad day and somebody just you know smiles or holds the door open for you, doesn't that make you feel just a little bit better? You never know. Anyway, um, yeah, that's that's all I got there. I do have some other stuff going on, like uh, the, the yard sale finds. I'm still upgrading one with RGB because we know RGB adds that adds FPS to everything. So a totally unnecessary upgrade is still in the works. Got some other things going on. But until next time, and until I get myself into something I got no business getting into, I'll see you later.